Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to solve a numerical on sampling. Let me read out the numerical first. A signal G of t equals 2 cos 400 by t plus 6 cos 640 by t is ideally sampled at fs equals 500 hertz. If the sampled signal is passed through an ideal low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 400 hertz, what frequency components will appear at the filter output? So, let us start the solution. Let us list down what are the given values. We are given a signal g of t equals 2 cos 400 pi t plus 6 cos 640 pi t. Let me take each of the cos values individually. So, cos 400 pi t is equals to cos 2 pi f1 t. Therefore, f1 equals 200 hertz. In a similar fashion, if I take the second one, cos 640 pi t is equals to cos 2 pi f2 t. Therefore, f2 is equals to 320 hertz. Now, since we are asked to perform sampling here, we should know what is the Fourier transform of cos 2 pi f c t. So, the Fourier transform of cos 2 pi f 1 t is equals to 1 by 2 into delta of f minus f 1 plus delta of f plus f 1. So, I will now apply this principle to equation 1 which is our given signal. Therefore, the Fourier transform of g of t which is now given as g of f is equals to 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 into delta of f minus f1 whereas f1 is 200 hertz plus delta of f plus f1 which is again 200 hertz. This please note is for the first part of the equation. Now, let us do the same for the second part. Therefore, it will be plus 6 multiplied by 1 by 2 into delta of f minus f2, whereas f2 is 320 hertz plus delta of f plus f2. So, it is 320 hertz again. Okay. So, let me simplify this equation. Therefore, g of f is equals to 2 and 2 cancel out here. Therefore, it will be delta of f minus 200 plus delta of f plus 200. This is for the first part plus here 2 and 6 cancel to produce 3. Therefore, 3 multiplied by delta of f minus 320 plus delta of f plus 320. So, this equation represents the Fourier transform of the given signal in frequency domain. Let us call it as equation 2. Now, using this equation, we can draw the spectra of the input signal g of t. For that, we will have to identify the frequencies. So, what are the frequencies? The frequencies are minus 200 plus 200, minus 320 and plus 320. You should also note the amplitude of those frequencies. So, here I can write it as 1, the other one is actually 3. So, let us now draw the spectra. To draw the spectra, start with the x axis which is the frequency axis and draw the y axis which is for the signal or frequency amplitude. So, it is g of f. Mark the frequencies, we have plus 200 plus 320. Similarly, we have minus 200 minus 320. Okay, so, this will be our 0. So, go back and check what is the amplitude of the frequencies minus and plus 200. It is 1. So, draw a line here and this will be 1. So, this is the plus 200 frequency. Very similarly, I will draw another line at minus 200 and I will mark 1 here. This is for the minus 200. 
coming to plus 320 and minus 320 look at the amplitude it is 3 so therefore i will draw a line here and i will say it is 3 right so this is the spectra of the input signal let us now move on to the sampling part we know that the fourier transform of the sampled signal g delta of t can be drawn using the expression given by g delta of f is equals to fs summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity g of f minus n fs now we are given the value of fs as 500 hertz so when i substitute this let it be equation 3 this will be equal to g delta of f is equals to i'll keep the fs here as it is summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity g of f minus 500 n this is our equation for the sample signal let me name it as equation 4. now please note this part of the equation where we have g of f so we have to now go back to the expression for g of f which is our equation 2 and introduce wherever we have f the term f minus 500 yeah that's all we are supposed to do so i'll rewrite equation 2 here and i will introduce wherever there is f as f minus 500 n so the new equation therefore would be g delta of f is equals to fs summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity delta of f minus 500 n minus 200 plus delta of f minus 500 n plus 200 i'll have to put a overall bracket like this this is for the first term similarly for the second term we have plus 3 into fs into once again summation n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity i'll open the bracket here delta of f minus 500 minus 320 plus delta of f minus 500 n plus 320 okay so this is the expression which will be very important for us to draw the spectra of the sampled signal now how to draw the spectra of the sampled signal we will have to substitute the values of n in equation 5 starting from 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 etc and therefore you will obtain frequency components at the end of each calculation and those frequency components will be visible in the spectra of the sample signal let us start by first putting n is equals to 0. So when n is equals to 0, g delta of f is equals to fs delta of f minus 200 plus delta of f plus 200 plus 3 into delta of f minus 320 plus delta of f plus 320 okay so we have four components here minus 200 plus 200 minus 320 plus 320 so write them down here therefore frequency components are minus 200 plus 200 minus 320 plus 320 these are the frequency components for n is equals to 0 this is our case 1 now let us continue and substitute n is equals to 1 now when n is equals to 1 g delta of f is equals to fs multiplied by delta of f minus 500 minus 200 plus delta of f minus 500 plus 200 this is for the first part then we have a plus 3 multiplied by fs into delta of f minus 500 minus 320 plus delta of f minus 500 plus 320 let us simplify this okay 
okay so now we have obtained the frequency components so i will write the frequency components here minus 700 minus 300 minus 820 minus 180 please note this is for n is equals to 1 in a similar fashion let us substitute n is equals to minus 1 so g delta of f is now equals to fs multiplied by delta of f plus 500 minus 200 plus delta of f plus 500 plus 200 plus 3 fs into delta of f plus 500 minus 320 plus delta of f plus 500 plus 320. Let us simplify this. Okay, so therefore now the four new frequency components are plus 300 plus 700 plus 180 plus 820. Let us now move on and do the same for n is equals to plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4 etc. And each time you do that you obtain a new frequency component. You have to list them all and then we will move on to the spectra of the sampled signal. Right. So, the spectra of the sample signal is written in a very similar fashion as what we have done for the input signal g of t. So, you start with the x axis, you name it as the frequency axis, draw the y axis, this is actually g delta of f. Mark the frequency components first. So, when n is equals to 0, we have obtained minus 200 plus 200 minus 320 and plus 320. I will mark them first on the x axis here. Okay. So, come back for n is equals to 1. Note down the new frequency components. It is minus 700 minus 300 minus 820 minus 180. So, this is minus 700, then I have minus 300, then I have minus 180, then lastly minus 820. 820 comes somewhere here, I can skip it, not very suitable for this particular example. In a very similar fashion, I have plus 180, then I have plus 300, then I have plus 700 and plus 820 which I will be skipping. Okay, so now go back and identify what is the amplitude of each of these frequency components. So, when you come back for n is equals to 0, minus 200 and plus 200 have an amplitude of 1 fs. So, come back to the spectra, go to minus and plus 200, draw a line here and write 1 fs here. Okay, so in a similar fashion, for 320 and minus 320, the amplitude is actually plus 3 fs. Then go back to n is equals to 1. For n is equals to 1, minus 700 and minus 300 have an amplitude of 1 fs. So go back, minus 300 is 1 fs, minus 700 is also 1 fs. The other two frequency components which are 820 and 180 have a amplitude of 3 fs. So, 820 anyhow I do not have it here, but 180 I have and 180 has an amplitude of 3 fs. The same applies for the other part of the x axis as well. So, 180 has an amplitude of 3 fs, 300 has an amplitude of 1 fs. Then 700 as an amplitude of 1 fs again. So, this is the spectra of the sampled signal. Okay, so, first part of the numerical is complete here. Now, we are told that there is a low pass filter 
and the sampled signal spectra what we have just drawn is passed through this low pass filter and the cutoff frequency of this low pass filter is given as 400 hertz okay so let us mark 400 hertz somewhere here so this is where is the 400 hertz mark so it is minus 400 and somewhere here is the plus 400 okay so from this point to this point is the bandwidth of our low pass filter so i will write this is low pass filter bandwidth now the last part of the question says what frequency components will appear at the output of the low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 400 hertz to identify them just look at the spectra of the sample signal and consider all frequency components that are within the bandwidth of the low pass filter so therefore lastly i can say the frequencies that appear at the output of the low pass filter are it is plus or minus 180 plus or minus 200 plus or minus 300 plus or minus 320 so these frequency components will appear at the output of the low pass filter right so that concludes the numerical so we have drawn the spectra of the input signal we have drawn the spectra of the sample signal and we have identified the frequencies that will appear at the output of the low pass filter as well right so that's about this numerical i hope you liked this video if you did kindly share and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication tutorials thank you for watching have a good day